What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books, get them for myself, get them for my kids, get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out the comic shop. And while you're over there, just go a little bit down the road and check out the toy department, why don't you? Okay? Let's jump in. It's all new stuff this week. I can't wait to look at it all. Here it is. Corella DeVille, number one from Dynamite, $3.99. This is for Gracie. There were a bunch of different covers, but I really liked this one. I thought this one was really cool looking. Uh, she likes all these Disney books. This one's written by Sweeney Boo. Sweeney Boo. And Miriana, Miriana Puglia doing the art. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a Disney book. We love Disney. We love Disney stuff. So how are we not going to check out Cruella de Vil? It's got doggies. It's got Cruella in it. It's got a bunch of covers. Lots of covers. Justice Ducks. Gargoyles. Yeah, I mean, we're going to check that out. We're going to look at it. Next up. <clears throat> Star Wars, number 42. Yes, I'm going to keep buying Star Wars. I'm not going to do the higher public stuff, but I am going to do the regular books. This is issue 42, $4.99. No clue what's happening. No clue what's going on. It's written by Charles Soule with Stephen Cummings doing the penciling. I'll find out. I'll find out what's going to happen at some point. What's up with this lightsaber that Luke's got? It's a weird lightsaber. Interesting. I don't have any idea what that's up. What's up with that? It's yellow. It's different. I don't know. I'll find out at some point. And another Star Wars book, but this one I actually do know what's going on. Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 2, issue number 8. This is $4.99, and it's got a gorgeous cover. This cover is fantastic, and this is the regular cover of the book. The variants, in my opinion, didn't hold a candle to this one. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, this is adapted by Rodney Barnes on the writing and Stephen Cummings doing the penciling. Who did that cover? Felipe Massafera. That is nice. So this is the... Um, final episode of season two of The Mandalorian. Which at this point, I'm sorry... If you haven't caught up on The Mandalorian and you don't know what happens in the season two, I'm going to spoil it right now because this was a jaw-dropping moment. Chills. I still, when I get think, when I think about this moment, I still get chills. Dodgy CGI on the face. All you, talk about that all you want, but it was it was amazing. When Luke shows up at the end of Mandalorian season two, it was amazing. Now, this so this is the final issue of season two. Um, I'm curious how they're going to handle between this and Mandalorian Season 3. Is there going to be... Was there a Book of Boba Fett adaptation comic? I don't think there was. So what's going to happen with those two Mandalorian episodes, basically, that are stuck in the Boba, Book of Boba Fett series and how they relate to Season 3 of The Mandalorian? I'm curious how that's going to be handled. I didn't really enjoy Season 3 of The Mandalorian, though. Um, so I don't even know if I'll buy a Season 3 Mandalorian comic. That's how much I did not enjoy Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Uh, next up, we've got Transformers number 4. I can't believe this book is on issue 4 already. For Keaton, this is $3.99. I went with this cover that is 100% an homage to that jumping, shooting scene of Prime from Transformers, the animated movie, where he comes rolling in and takes out all the Decepticons and kind of saves the day. Uh, Daniel Warren Johnson doing the, write and, the writing and the art. And I really like this art. I love that it's kind of like dirty and messy and kind of chunky, cool speed lines and stuff. Heavily inked. I like it. Ooh, little thing at the end about Megatron there. So there we go. And last but not least, I grabbed this for Blaze. Zorro, Man of the Dead. This is a new Zorro book by Massive. This is issue number one, written by Sean Gordon Murphy. And art by Simon Goff. And this is $4.99, and I went with a Sean Gordon Murphy cover, too. Um, just because it's he likes Sean Gordon Murphy, like the Batman 
you know, all the Batman, Sean Gordon Murphy stuff. So yeah, we got Sean Gordon Murphy doing the writing and the art. I didn't realize he did the art, interior art as well. That's going to be fun. That's fun. So yeah, I'm really glad I picked this up now. I really grabbed it just because he didn't have any other book. And I saw Sean Gordon Murphy doing the cover. And then later on, I realized he was doing the writing. But I knew he was doing the interior art as well. That's cool. So that's a fun pickup. And that is it for this week. If you enjoy the videos, like, subscribe, notify. If you buy comics, leave a comment down below. Um, talk to you guys next Wednesday. Take it easy. Goodbye.